This is the scene where King Aegeus takes his wife to hide the sandals and the sword. I'm going to place Theseus' sword and sandals under this hollow. When he becomes of age, he may come and get them, and come to me and become the heir to the throne. As you wish, my lord. Treat him well. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye! King Aegeus is leaving on his journey back to his kingdom. Theseus and his mother are about to find the treasures that Theseus' father left behind. Theseus, my son. You have become a man now. Your father has left some treasures for you behind this massive boulder. And, and I shall remove it. So <laughs> strong! <laughs> oh look! His sandals! And his sword! I will wield it with great power. Yes, he will. Let us go. Theseus is about to depart to Athens. Now that you are a man, you must take your journey to Athens. I have a boat ready for you. I'm Go not, by sea. I'm not going by sea. I'm going by land so I can prove my courage. But what if you die? I fear no death, <laughs> unlike you. Theseus is on his land journey to Athens. He encounters trouble. <laughs> I smell danger. Anybody else? You killed my brothers! Get up and fight me like a man. The deed is done now. Theseus meets his father at a feast. What if there's no hero to take over my throne? Think we will kill him? How about we poison him? This deadly poison, I will put it in his drink. Here, yeah, hero, have a drink. Wait! Hail King Aegeus! Is that the glitz of my sword? Medea, you are banished! You have returned to me, my son. Father! Oh, oh, I missed you. I missed you too, great son. Because I never knew you. What has become of your mother? She had a sudden death. 
What? No! It is fine, you have me now. I will take your air when you die. I'm just glad you returned to me. A long time before Theseus was born, the Athenians were defeated by the Cretans in a war. Instead of de demolishing Athens, the king of Crete decided that he would take seven youth and seven maidens, and they would have to be sacrifices to the Minotaur. I'm sorry, but young youth of my empire, I've come to inform you that you must be sent to be eaten by the Minotaur. <laughs> You must spend these last few minutes of mourning with your family. Don't cry. I will take your place, and I will slay the Minotaur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may live to see another day. You're so kind. Oh, my son! Why? Why must you go? I will kill him so he will not slay another youth. I hope for that day. If you come, if you return, you must show me the white sail. I will, and then I will become a hero. Theseus and 13 other youth have been gone to be sacrifices to the Minotaur. Oh, my son, I'm worrying for you greatly. But if you do survive, please do show me this white sail. I will survive, and I will show you this. Until that day, son, I don't know what I will do. Be king. Let us set sail. While being paraded through Crete, the king's daughter Ariadne fell in love with Theseus, so she decided to save Theseus. Here is a string to guide you through the labyrinth, and here is your sword to help you slay the Minotaur. Thank you, madame. You're welcome. Now watch out for the Minotaur. Yeah. We will. Okay. We'll watch go out. slow, go slow. Let me tie this here so I know my way out. That's a good idea. Theseus plans to leave with the 13 children and ditch Ariadne. Theseus, I'm so happy I get to go to Athens, where people can actually admire my beauty. Oh yes, you're very beautiful. I think I'm going to take a nap before we leave in the morning. Do so. She does not belong with us. Let us go quietly. That's not to disturb. She's beautiful that way. She...
Oh no, the black sail! After King Aegis died, Theseus became king and became one of the greatest kings of Athens, the end.